Hot hands. I only got one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. That's pretty good. I have a pair. You have a pair? Yeah. You think it'll last the whole time? Probably not. Yeah. <laughs> For sure, no. <laughs> but it's supposed to be cold. Look at that. It's game time. Game time, baby. Game time. We're leaving cold and going to even colder. Let's do this. Sorry for the inconvenience. We are having some system issues. We are working on it right now. The plane is booked. No more seats are available. There's a hundred people behind us. We made it. <laughs> we got on that plane. They said the plane's totally sold out right now. There's like a hundred people still in line. Someone screwed up. <laughs> Got shut down, shook down, shut down, shook down. In customs, the guy got in his face. <laughs> Literally got in his face. Luckily, I went over there and saved him. Who do you work for? <laughs> yeah, I know. <laughs> saved Gabriel, though. He got scared. And now we're getting our bags and we're gonna go do the fun thing of clearing our guns. It's 8 o'clock, and I think we got a two hour drive to go from here. But the adventure is just beginning. And exciting. I need a snack. Oh yeah. <laughs> Food is definitely on the menu. <laughs> Maybe a beer too. A bush light. <laughs> <laughs> whatever, you, whatever you can get in Canada. I don't know where it's going. <laughs> no, we're going to get a bush light. Tell more Americans. <laughs> we only drink American beer. Bush light for life. Phil. Gabe. Gabe. Nice to meet you. licenses <coughs> we thought about buying fireworks and then we looked at beef jerky that was girthy What's 
the what's the plan? Bill's going out with the lead guy, the legend, Sir Marcus of Cerulius. No. Uh, he's not going with Marcus Aurelius. He's going with Mark Parsons. And then we are going with the Lion King killer, Lucas. Apparently <coughs> likes to kill a lot of mountain. <coughs> and I don't know where we're going, but I feel like I'm at a ski resort. And it is incredibly beautiful out. There's a ton of animals, and I know with the sun out and the warmth, things are gonna be out and about. And I don't think you can beat this place. So, I think that's the game plan. Got a lot of killing to do, and not a lot of time. So what are we rocking for, rock, what are we rocking for clothes? What, are, what is that? Got set? a lot of clothes on. Why, Lots of clothes, I got. What and why? Uh, I got heavy base layer crop pants on that we've not released yet. Uh, so I have insulation on my thighs and butt and groin and my crotch. And so everything is warm down there. Primloft gold insulation. And then I got Zodiac pants uh, for stretch durability and just mobility. And then the King of Kings, the North Star jacket, straight up insulation and warmth. But yeah, and then I do have a windproof vest on underneath Matt Trapper vest and an L1 base layer. Now, what and a about? Phantom quarter zip. Oh, yes, that too. And it's like what, high 30s, right? Maybe some 40 degree weather? I don't think it's 40s. I think it's 35. 35. Yeah. 34, 35. Low humidity. I don't think it's, I think it's pretty dry out. Nice. It was pretty cold earlier. I thought this morning when it was snowing and windy. Mm -hmm. The overcast. Yeah. The sun. But I, it's supposed to get wicked again. I think today's the warmest day of the week. Yeah. beat this view yeah we're a long way from Kansas and Illinois this is pretty wild as far as the eye can see this is amazing just looking for some deer seen a lot but just keep on glassing and looking and find something in this craziness
Wow, that's a really nice buck. He's chasing that doe. We just saw a big buck. We boogied on over here. Just run around out here. That was a big, big buck. Exciting. Day three, Alberta, revelation of the morning. We need to have poop cycles. That house stinks right now. I can smell everyone's fecal matter and their morning routines. We need to, we need to alternate. I tried to air it out, but Gabe is trying to keep on to the precious warmth in the cabin. So you can't leave doors open. Gabe is the heat meister, whereas I'm the scent meister. I'll take coldness with clean smells versus warm air with warm stink. But no, day three, Alberta's awesome. Today's supposed to be the coldest day. We're supposed to get a lot of snow. And uh, I think we're gonna do the same. I wouldn't be surprised if we don't do the same big big loop that we've been doing, uh, looking for a big white tail. And we'll probably drive back in that same area where we saw that one big one. Uh, got to keep grinding but we're seeing lots uh, and we've been turning down lots so it's not like we're snobs I guess we are snobs either way either way we're gonna get something uh, we just wanted day three of seven so why blow it on a let's be a little selective on the early end then we'll be uh, less selective but no today should be awesome Bill's We're gonna after be, the mule deer, right? Huh? Bill's after the mule deer. Yeah, Bill's after a mule deer right now. But I think today's gonna be wicked. I think we're gonna get some awesome scenery. I think when it was snowing, everything was down. Yeah, today's gonna be awesome. No snacks today. I got my routine done. I feel lighter. I feel crisper. I got a good night's rest after midnight when all the hot air evaporated out of our house. And man, I got a burrito. Should have showed you my burrito. It was a delicious Good. burrito. Yeah. Very simple, very elegant. Salsa, cheese, bacon, little hot sauce. Good tortilla. It's all in the tortilla. That was a good tortilla. So yeah. Day three.
Break a trail and stuff. It's a pain. <laughs> Chased a mule deer buck along this whole ridge line, and uh, I never saw it. We were chasing us on the two does with it. We were way up on this top of this ridge line. It's like a thousand feet down that way, a thousand feet down that way. It's just a nice spine with aspen groves all along it. And we were just shadowing them all the way down. But uh, it's snowing with some uh, flurries in it. Seen a ton of moose. There's a giant one-horned moose down there. Kind of a freak show looking thing. Yeah, we've been covered in moose. <laughs> I think we've seen more moose this morning than anything else. We saw a giant, a really big 140, 150 class 10 pointer. But we were trying to fuck get in on this one mule deer that we spotted. And uh, we bushwhacked it pretty far. I'm not looking forward to walk back, but it's going to be pretty awesome. I don't think you, I always say you can't beat it, man, but you can't beat it. <laughs> it's like every other day, every day. Pretty awesome. Amazing. Another stalk, another day. Alberta, baby. That's where it's at. Buck me after. Boogie down out of here. Gabriel's buck down there. He wants to go pet it. Give it a little treat. Yeah. But eventually we'll get something. But it's snowing. And Lucas's legs are warm now. So he's ready to go. Back in the diaphragm. You want me to shoot him again? Yeah, I'm right over your shoulder. That was quick. <laughs> that, I don't know, he's a star like Paul. Yeah. Yeah, he was cool. <laughs> oh man. Yeah, he's just laying there. We'll go up around this way. Oh yeah, brother. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That was sweet. The streak. <laughs> streak has ended. The streak has ended. Did you get it? <laughs> I got it. You wanna hop in? Yeah, I'll just back up a bit.
He's getting that, he's getting that. Oh man, he's, ooh. <laughs> you disemboweled him. Oh, he's getting up again. How the heck? Oh, you get it? My fucking quads are totally cramped out. My quads are totally firing. <laughs> oh man. <laughs> That's awesome. That's the biggest deer I've ever killed. He's a stud. Yeah. Absolute stud. <laughs> I saw him earlier in the season he tried to kill him, but we couldn't get him killed. Look at the brows on that. Thing. Yeah. Ha! <laughs> <Huh>. Oh <Hell> yeah. <laughs> That's awesome. Fucking hey, Gabriel. Ha! <laughs> 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 oh man, it's awesome. Side. Get your hands on him. <laughs> Look at the size of his fucking head. He's huge. He's just massive deer. It's a massacre scene. <laughs> Whew. What a deer. The brows are just for unreal. Yeah. I think those gotta be what, five inches? It's a stud. Freaking huge. It's a massive deer. Huge chocolate antlers. It's awesome. That's what it's all about, man. That is a straight up Alberta buck right there. 
<laughs> Does get better than that. So what's the plan for the rest of the day? <laughs> what's the plan for the rest of the day? Drink some beer. Maybe go for a meal deer. What do you think, Gabe? I'm cool what with What do anything. you think, Gabe? I'm cool with anything. Day three, we did it, though. Finally. Finally. Day three of Day three two of years. <laughs> Day three of Alberta. Biggest freaking deer I've ever killed. So awesome. What do you it's think we'll ginormous, man. It's a freaking elk. Just different deer out here. He'd probably like eat a Tennessee deer. <laughs> it's a 300 pound Big body. Big Lee Chew style. The craziest thing to like, he's a big rack, but he also has a big body. Yeah. It's like, it's like, this is a big deer for sure. What do you think he'll score? Uh, I would, if 130s, 135 eight pointer. <laughs> happens if you're out there playing, doesn't yeah. it? Yeah, it's the only way, place you can get them is if you're out there. <laughs> That's a good one. Look for all the corn. Look at the main beef mic on that thing. Yeah. Yeah, that's fantastic. That's a deer I saw in the Oh, is it? <laughs> that's nice. Yeah, there's a length on that horn. I don't even move. Good job. You gotta shoot that every Yeah. Like <laughs> a little knob on the bottom, too. Yeah. <laughs> Did you shoot a tie knot or? No, it was both. <laughs> 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 I, Lucas chewed it off to prove his worth. Look at the main beam length on that thing. Holy smoke. Long brows. The brows are unreal. Fantastic. What's with all the shots? Huh? What's with all the <laughs> shots? See, right? There was one and there's another one. You just kept going. Shooting's the fun part. Once you start shooting, keep I'm shooting. I'm deaf as a bird right now. I can't hear anything. <laughs> we didn't even have time for your plugs. <laughs> Let's get out and shoot. <laughs> That's pretty dang fantastic. Yeah, you only cross um, the creek going from towards the falls. Off the western, you cross the creek once and then you go in, into that opening, that first little tiny opening. It was just after that, in between the little opening and the next creek. Right in the creek one. He was chasing the dope. Tis the season. Yeah. Tis the season. We saw a bunch of bucks chasing. <laughs> <laughs> cool. oh. yeah. I'm gonna go hang it up. Sure. I'm gonna go hang it up. Sure. Too good. Too good to be true, man. But it is true. It is true. Dude, I can't believe it just went down like that. It went down so fast. Dude, we smoked a slammer yesterday. We walked to probably 10 miles. Probably got 10,000 vertical for a white-tailed deer. Absolute first for me. But the white-tailed deer was in the bottom. After yeah, <laughs> the white-tailed deer was in the bottom. And we kept going up. So, should be a fun morning. And hopefully smoke a slammer mealy today. Wow. Yeah, baby. <laughs> One thing I've learned with Lucas is when Lucas gets in the car, never says anything, that is the cue that we must get in the car and it's time to leave that area. Never does he say, hey guys, let's load up or let's leave. It's Lucas gets in the car. The unspoken rule is wrap it up. Let's Hurry go. Up. <laughs> <laughs> Here we are in Nanton, 
Alberta at Anchor Bar Outfitters with Ross, our guide extraordinaire. The goal for today is something with horns on it. Whether it be a whitetail or a mule deer, we're indifferent because we're on the fifth day of a seven day hunt. Maybe the fourth day of a six day hunt, but it's all the same. <laughs> I saved, well, I saved Gabriel. Long egg? Oh my God, Gabriel, I <laughs> saved you so badly with- That bad? So, the we- The bush monkey. The, <laughs> Lucas and I, we part ways. Gabriel goes hunting with Bill. Lucas stuck to his 2.30 time commitment. We get out and the Jeep is completely frozen. All the brakes were frozen. So we tried yanking the brakes free by towing the truck and yanking, trying to get the wheels turned, but the wheels would not turn. So we tried an hour of this thing. Eventually the wheels would not, so we dragged it all the way back with his car and I was trying to steer it as best I could so we could get it out of the driveway. After that, we hopped in the four x four quad in the freezing and get about, I don't know, a mile down the road and the freaking quad starts smoking and like billowing smoke comes out from Gabriel's seat. And so we stopped there and we tried to pull off the plastic panel to see what was billowing smoke out and we couldn't get it off. Lucas almost chopped his finger off trying to get the plastic screws out. And finally we said, screw it. We sat there for a little bit and then we started again. And it stopped, it wasn't smoking anymore. And Lucas concluded that it was sh horse shit. <laughs> 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 and that was what was smoking. But it was clearly plastic. And it's like, oh, it's just plastic. And so we just slowly drove around in that. And eventually it got so damn cold. We said, screw it. We hopped in his truck and we drove a bunch of areas. We didn't, stick. We didn't hunt this area, we drove around. But God, it was cold. Oh, that sounds horrible. Wow. <laughs> it was cold. That was a good adventure. It was, I told Lucas, like, you don't know you're cold until you feel warmth. Yeah. And, and when you feel the warmth, then you realize how cold you are. <laughs> oh, gosh. That was cold. <laughs> like, my hands. I was fine here. I was fine here. But my feet and fingers, man, they, oh, were, wow. they, were, they were, they bit the dust on this man, one. That's horrible. Yeah, we didn't have as an eventful trip. Uh, Hunt, saw a lot of bucks. Yeah. But, uh, what what do you say, Bill? We had like one nice buck, right, or something like that. One decent buck, and then the rest were small muleys, small white tail buck. And yeah. That's Yes,
whether or not there's something for shoot. Either way, there's gonna be some good film. Yeah. You taking the Tarka toy or the side by side? Here, but I didn't see nothing in the bottom. I got over here, and I saw seven does that we hadn't even seen yet. Yeah, well, I saw a bunch of does like in there. I got like they're moving up and down in there, but I would only get glimpses on them. It was like there's another ravine on the other side that's fine. Lifted to the heavens. <sighs> Look at this angle. Very the most flattering angle is always looking down on someone. No chin, no chin fat, nothing. He looked beautiful from above. That's how God sees us. So that was profound. That was profound. And so yes, we uh, we did some hiking. Saw a lot of mule deer actually, uh, but didn't make it happen. Let's hope that Bill got something and uh, that's where he's at and another day another time we got this afternoon got a whole nother day of hunting I think we got a whole nother day it's Friday right yeah so we have this evening and tomorrow tomorrow three more hunts really but if we don't get anything guaranteed we're gonna stay out all day tomorrow I sure hope so I sure hope so too but I feel positive about the meal deer for us at least uh, I think they're keeping those mule deer for Bill. Mule deer and whitetail are right there. But they're easy to get. They're just different. There's no easier or harder in this world, Gabriel. It's just different. God sets a path for everyone. It's not for you to decide. It's not for me to decide. That's the path that Bill is on. We are on a different path.
Yeah, he's really nice. Three does right there. What's that? Three does. The top, and then there's a doe down the bottom. Just yeah. there.
He's still there. He's still there. He's still there. It was it this? Yeah. yeah. He's still there. Right? <laughs> Hell yeah, look at him rolling. <laughs> awesome. Oh, good shot. <laughs> <laughs> Three shots. They're tons of charm, right? <laughs> nice. That's a good deer, too. Congratulations. <laughs> Appreciate the hard work. No worries. That was freaking awesome. It's 140, right? Yeah. <laughs> that six five, that six five drops him, doesn't it? Oh, yeah. <laughs> he just folded. <laughs> yeah, that's awesome. Well, we'll go get the boys and then uh, we'll go again. I'll I'll even leave you two here and then I can bring everyone in. All right. Well, we're uh, day five of our six day hunt in Alberta, Canada, and Fleet Camo came through for us. <laughs> Just dropped a 10 pointer at 300 yards. Won't tell you how many shots it took me to get it, but the kill shot was really impressive. <laughs> Lucas, Ross, outstanding guides. Mark, his wife Donna, just a super place to come. Anchor Bar Outfitters, Alberta, Canada. Take care. <laughs> What'd you yeah, think, Gabriel? Awesome. You didn't think it was gonna go down? I thought it was gonna go. <laughs> it wasn't moving at all after two shots. Get over there and sitting there, we heard the first shot, and he's like, I don't think that was a hit, and we're like, no. Second shot, no, he's still there though. Third shot, oh, wait. We didn't hear the shot, we just saw him rolling. Then we heard the shot, that was a good one. <laughs> <laughs> it's a big buck. That's a big buck. Yeah. Are you cold? <laughs> huh? <You're shipping. laughs> I am cold. I've been that, standing, not moving. Is that excitement or cold? A little bit of both. A little bit of both, yeah. This is gonna be interesting. They're like excited to run up there and drag this yeah. fucker down. That's really cool. You see him right yeah. now? Yeah. What'd you think? Through <laughs> <laughs> a time. <laughs> Ten pointer? He's a boss. Look at this. Where'd I hit him in his spine? Right in the back of the head. Blew his eyeball out, hit him in the tear duct. That's what I thought. I told you, brained him up when I looked at the shot. We'll, um, we'll go into the meadow. Okay. Yeah, that's a nice bar. And then we'll pull him out and take some pictures. Yeah. And then we'll knock him against that. Okay. We're going down the trail. Okay. We'll follow you to the meadow. Good deer. That's a very good deer. What do you say? You hit him right here. Yeah. Wow. I guess it's still shooting a little right. <laughs> then you're gonna have to get more fuel again. Yeah.
It's such a blessing for us to go chase whitetail in this country. Mule deer, whitetail, Shire's moose, you name it. Yeah, Southern Alberta, it's just, it's a dream come true. I, I would encourage anyone, anyone, to go out there and hunt with Mark Parsons uh, and Anchor Bar Outfitters. It was so much fun, such a challenge. It was such a rewarding trip, and I, it's, just, it's just a testament to God's glory. What's, it, what's going on? We're stuck in ice mud. Nope, no. But we saw a big buck. 